Okay, find the range of values of x, which the function fx here is an increasing function. Okay, so when we're talking about increasing function, okay, we, we sort of look at the curve of it, right? So suppose the curve looked like that, and we're interested in when the curve is on an increase, okay, when it's increasing. So essentially this section here, yeah, if you think about it, this section here, this is when it's increasing, okay, and this section here, okay, that's when it's increasing, isn't it, okay? Now here it's decreasing, so we don't want those values because we, 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 the function itself is decreasing. We, we'll have, if you think about it, a negative gradient. And that's what this is referring to here. That's the process you've got to use here because if you think about it, when the function is increasing, the gradient will be positive, okay? The gradient will be positive. You'd have positive tangent, right? Tangent going in the positive direction, positive gradient. Whereas when you've got it decreasing, it'll be negative gradient. So it's all about looking at the gradient, okay? So we're gonna work out what dy dx is for this year, okay? So dy dx, differentiate. And because it's given in terms of f of x, another notation for dy dx is f dash of x, okay? It doesn't matter, it still means dy dx, but, if it's, but we can write this f dash of x as well. So differentiate, we get three x squared minus two x minus eight, yeah? When you differentiate that there. And we could say, look, when function is increasing, okay, dy dx, okay, or f of dash of x, whichever you want to say, is positive, yeah? When the function is increasing, the gradient is positive. So we can say this is positive. 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 is greater than 0, okay? So then we just need to look at the range of values that satisfy this inequality. And remember, when we want to solve like an inequality, a quadratic inequality like this, okay, we first of all look at the critical points, okay? So for the critical points, it'll be when the quadratic is equal to zero, okay? So when it's equal to zero, we can solve that then using two brackets, okay? So remember then the process we use, when we factorise two brackets, we put 3x in both brackets there, okay? And then we do that multiply and then add section over here. Now remember, they've got to multiply then to give, in this case, because it's 3 in front here, times by the minus 8, so be minus 24. So they're going to multiply to give minus 24, add up to give minus 2. So the two numbers in this case are going to be 6 and 4, and they? they'll multiply to give 24. Um, now, to get minus 2, we need this, we make this minus 6, add 4, yeah? So the biggest number will be negative, add 4, can be minus 2, and they will multiply to give minus 24. So we'll minus 6 here and add 4 there. And remember then, okay, um, we have to then, because we times by 3, we need to divide by 3 then. You can see this 3 as a common factor in the first bracket. Okay, so we'll cancel them with that 3 bottom. So we have x minus 2 equals 0 or 3x plus 4 equals 0. So x will equal 2 or x will equal to minus 4 thirds. Okay, now um, those are the critical points. So when I draw then my quadratic, okay, um, so I'm going to draw the quadratic in terms of Looking at these points here, these are where the, where the quadratic is equal to zero. So x equals two here, and minus four thirds there. Okay. So when I draw the curve, okay, we've got that there. Now remember, we were interested in when the gradient was positive. So when the gradient is positive, okay. Well, focusing on these critical points here. Where the graph is equal, where the quadratic is equal to zero, where it's greater than zero, it'll be that way, won't it? That's where the curve is greater than zero, and that way. So we could say x must be greater than two, okay? Or so greater than two that way, or x has got to be less than minus four thirds, okay? So that's where it's positive, and that actually fits in nicely with my diagram here, doesn't it? Okay? So suppose then that would be two here, then x is going to be greater than two, okay? It can't equal two because that two is where the um, stationary point might be, yeah, okay, so what well, the stationary point will be, so then greater than 2, it'll be positive, and then that would be maybe minus 4 thirds there, so less than minus 4 thirds is where it's also positive, so that's where it's increasing, 
in those range of values there. 